Yes, good morning, uh, commissioners. I just after the, oh, okay. So my time's not running, right? Correct, I just wanna make sure you're on the record and our microphone, our sound system isn't the best here in the room. So if, if you would hold it. Sure, <laughs> absolutely, no problem. Okay, is that good? Okay, I'm here in person because I normally do it in Zoom. It's very difficult for me to get down here, but I am disturbed <laughs> from the last meeting, like absolutely disturbed by so much. Um, and then I come here and I find out I have to fill out, what, seven or eight cards? I mean, can we have some respect for trees and change the rules to where you can put everything, if you can't do it electronically, put it on one card. That's absolutely egregious especially since um, Ms. Viegas, you are a lobbyist for trees and, and things from what I understand. And that being said, I think your strong suit is probably on this side of the table. Uh, I'm sure you're probably really good at what you do, cons you know, considering you were appointed here. But when it comes to here, you, I am sorry, but you do not have the temperament to run this board. Neither did your predecessor and thankfully she left. And I am going to look you right in the eye, even though you're not looking at me, and ask you to step down. The other day, when you gave me a warning, which was unfair, uncalled for, because I was on topic. I know you don't like the topics, but I was on topic. And Commissioner Davis tried to warn you that I was talking about conflict of interest, and he is absolutely right. And also, when he runs the meeting, he absolutely has the um, emotional wherewithal to handle a public that is concerned about issues who's persistent and who may be upset. He has the temperament. Commissioner Davis, I completely support you running this board. I hope um, that happens. I am asking Ms. Villegas to please go back to lobbying and take, step down from this board. You do not have the temperament. And, um, and everyone else, and the city attorney, you were not here last time, but whoever was here that day, I would like his name because I am filing a complaint with the, um, the, um, the bar association against him because of he, I, he did not follow legal procedure. Yes. Thank you. Uh, 
building there at Botany in Ron Hubbard Way. They're pouring concrete down there now. A month before that, or a month uh, right before that, girders were going down. Big, big girders. Not two by four, not two by six, not two by eight. Girders. Major foundation construction. These, my friend and myself, asked a question if there was a permit there. What happened? I was given a death threat. I was supposed to be quiet and made a movement of, and the construction workers made a movement of splitting my throat. Someone threatened to kill me because I asked about a permit. Hundreds of pallets of concrete, pre-mixed concrete, planters that are not supposed to be on the sidewalk for the evening, filled with dirt that came from that basement. Is there a tunnel being built between the under Rockhopper Way without permit? And why are the trust workers giving death threats? And why do the police issue restraining orders on myself and another activist? What did we discover? Did we discover a tunnel running under Rockhopper Underground into Rockhopper Way? Why was the road concrete cut across that road? Who cut that road? What permits were made for that road? Is there a tunnel under Rock Harbor on the Thank you. And we'll move Great job, to Dion. Hungary, followed by Kenny. I hope you guys can hear it. Anybody more? I just want to second the comment made by DOA there. I was one of the victims that too was issued a death threat where they were going to slice my neck off. I was also assaulted by the employee of Lake Structure Link who was doing major foundation repair without a permit. And not only that, you know who the supplier was for the metal fabrication for those girders? Cody Builder Supplies. And you know what? It's led by two Scientologists. Not just that, I mentioned this last time. They're facing serious allegations of child rape. Two direct affiliates of Scientology. This is what you get when you mix business and Scientology. You get construction workers that issue death threats. You get businesses that are run by uh, uh, people facing heavy chomo allegations. And you have child slave labor on the fucking record with actual court cases documented that the people that Scientology employs internally to do this work are literally being paid slave wages, $47 a week. This is not hearsay. This is not official court documents. Get it through your head. This is making you culpable. The more that you continue to sit and not do anything with this, the more you too face legal culpability. It's not going to go away. There are right now criminal reports against the mega structural rate for the death threats and assault. Yesterday, we talked with the California State Board Board. There is now investigations under the city attorney for gross uh, malpractice and abuse of the court system. Same with Kendrick Moxon, the general counsel for Scientology. We are not some camp hoc uh, group of protesters. This is serious, this is not going to go away. You are culpable, you are letting the illegals be in danger thanks to the nefarious acts of Scientology. There's major collusion and corruption. The public knows about it. It's on official court record. What are you going to do about it? I use my time. Great job, Henry. Then DOA and Grace Glove. I have concerns with the case itself and you're even listening to the concerns of the community. It seems like he goes in one ear and out the other. The Coast of Scientology has committed crimes on camera with no consequences. And y'all seem to turn a blind eye to it. They have what happens to all the pallets in the of the pre-mix, the pre-cement mix. Where did all that go happen? Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds of that. Where did it all go? The child labor. The child policy, the construction workers making death threats. I was uh, happened to be passing in front of a restaurant, LA Bell, and I saw some disturbing things going on. And the people that were doing it, like throwing men in private parts on poster boards on sticks, and then running back to the restaurant, pushing logs into the street. I don't know what's going on in front of them. But passing by, it seems pretty disturbing what was actually going on. I don't know if y'all have knowledge, but y'all have knowledge of what the cult of Scientology is doing now. It's, they have a lot of evidence to where there should be some kind of suspicion about what's going on on Elf Ron Public Way. Thank you. 
I have a girlfriend who helped deliver one of my children when I was stuck in a seventh floor room with a broken elevator in labor with no one around to help me. They all had to run off to their job in the morning, or they would have been in big trouble. And anyway, so a girlfriend comes up and she delivered my daughter in 1985. That was 43 years ago. The church has not allowed me to speak to her for 10 years because I woke up and started talking about how bad they are. She right now is on the second floor of that big building that your fire engines cannot get to if there is an emergency. I've been told by somebody inside that she is very, very diabetic and at risk to be called, an ambulance to be called for her. She doesn't have time if a fire truck cannot get in. Tell one another after because somebody has blocked it off concrete again. So thank you all for carrying my time and taking that down. Please do it again. And sorry, Laura. Great job, Lars. Um, what's her name, Cece? Awesome job. Awesome job, everybody. Thank you. I am here to speak against item one. The reason being, and I'm allowed to, if I'm not mistaken, allowed to do comparisons on previous jobs that have been supervised by this commission and by Streets LA. So do not call me off topic. I am on topic. I am using comparisons. I say no because you have failed miserably in your oversight of street easements and construction easements or anything street related, roundabouts, um, streets, and I'll give a comparison. Um, look at how you are doing with L. Ron Hubbard Way. Look how you're doing with Fountain Avenue. Um, you guys, we cannot trust you anymore. I have zero confidence in any of your abilities to manage anything. And I'm gonna see who can look me in the eye as I talk to you. Thank you, Commissioner Davis, you have courage. As do you, um, Commissioner Corson. Um, Commissioner Villegas, oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Because it's the right thing to do when people are addressing you is to have respect back. I'm willing to come here and look you in the eye and I expect it back. Um, I'm here because I don't have confidence. Okay, there's a lot of corruption going on, and I'm not saying any of you are corrupt, but there's corruption going on. Or, you know, but in fairness, too, it could be fear. And on this project, too, and if, you ha if you're afraid of Scientology, maybe you're afraid of who, you know, um, uh, this construction company, I can't find it this quick. Um, you might have fear, and I understand that. Um, I'm afraid of Scientology, they're very frightening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, issues like the district. 
construction of the sidewalk and improvement on Fountain Avenue and on the right way seems to continue to go without any sort of consideration of due diligence. And you know, I'm sure that the hourly rate uh, that the city engineer is being paid, as well as uh, Vernon and LLC, that $300 an hour would be really, really nice. Uh, but unfortunately, none of the children nor any of the adults that are currently being uh, used as slaves by the Church of Scientology will ever see that kind of money in their life. They, in fact, only ever see $47 a week, and that's if they're lucky. Thank you. Great job, Henry. Thank you, Henry. And that concludes commentary on item number four. And a uh, point of clarification, city attorney, I again will be making comparisons, so I will not be off topic. Thank you. Okay, I am here to speak against item number two. Do we need, desperately need, bridges over, um, you know, the wash, the wash? Of course we do. We absolutely do. But again, I don't have confidence and your ability or even your determination to find out whether or not you know all the permitting is in order, whether or not the engineers are completely certified, whether or not they are um, doing things by code and by the law and by the book. Now here's the comparison part and I am on topic. I got the nod from your city attorney that I've seen how you are with science, the, the building on L. Ron Hubbard Way. We have continuously reported gigantic, like multi-story cracks and unpermitted um, repairs, unpermitted tunnel repairs underneath, and all kinds of stuff, and slave labor. And nothing's been done about it by this commission or by the streets, by, by nobody. So how can we trust you to build a bridge over the wash? We cannot. Um, how do we know they're not gonna use slave labor on this project? I mean, you're allowing slave labor on the project at L. Ron Hubbard. And again, this is comparison, Ms. Attorney. Um, they're allowing slave labor, people making $47 a week to work on public streets because they have a permit A order, they have a permit A, to fix the sidewalks and the streets and they are using their own people at $47 a week. That is illegal. They have to be paid a fair wage and they're not and you're doing nothing about it that I can tell. Thank you. Clarification again, city attorney, I will be making comparisons to pre previous issues, but I will be on topic. Oh, okay. She can hear me though. That's fine. 
do you need me to do my point of clarification again on if, if you like if okay that's fine. Point of clarification, city attorney, I will be pr speaking about previous, making comparisons on this topic. I will be on topic. I always am. Okay, for item number three, I am voting or asking you to vote against it. Even though, yes, climate, um, we, we're concerned about the climate. We've had some major heat waves. Um, they were, it, it was difficult. But again, it goes to confidence. Um, I'm sad to see that this is with the Bureau of Street Services rather than uh, Bureau of Engineering. It seems to me that Bureau of Engineering has uh, you know, better standing, but Bureau of Street Services, they absolutely cannot be trusted to know whether or not climate resolve um, is credible, whether or not they have the proper licenses, whether or not uh, they're going to do anything correctly and or because they are just Bureau Street Services just gives you know, if they Blanket just whatever anyone wants. Yes, here you go And I saw that with you know Scientology asking for endless um, Street permits to close L. Ron Hubbard way. It's just endless from June 1st all the way now almost to the end of October without a break and so it's just the you know over and over and over again, whatever you want. So I don't trust them to be, dis you know, to really check out climate resolve to make sure that everything is done correctly. Um, there's just zero confidence at this point. I also ask uh, Mr. Mose to step down and allow somebody else who's, you know, can do the job. I don't know why, it, you know, if what it, his story is, why he's just not taking, doing his job seriously. But that's neither here nor there. The people need somebody here. We need confidence back is what we need. We need our confidence back. And I am asking you to vote no. And that's two minutes. You just want me to stay here like, cause I, or like back up a little bit? But I want to be able to hear because you guys are not streaming on YouTube right now. Are you now? You resolved it? Okay, good. I mean, we're streaming here. You know, you get tens of thousands of people watching these meetings. You think it's 50, but it's literally tens of thousands. Do you just want me to grab it? I, I'm, I'm okay with grabbing it. Oh, okay. I got it. Thank you. But first, I want to make a point of clarification that I will be making comparisons, uh, City Attorney, and but it is related to this agenda item. Thank you. Okay. So here we go talking about removal of uncollectible accounts. Now, if this were, you know, Macy's or, you know, any store, then that would make sense. You know what I mean? Any, you know, like a, pub, a private entity, that would make sense. 
but we are in a budget crisis, okay? Half, or more than half of our budget goes to LAPD. So we have a smaller slice of the pie to be able to do what we need to be doing. And maybe that's why um, things aren't getting done on L. Ron Hubbard Way. We just don't have the money. Like, like even though the city has put, um, said that those planners have to be removed, they aren't being removed. And then maybe it's because of the budget issues. So if we have $271,671.13 um, available to us, um, why don't we try to collect that money? I, I get that maybe, you know, if they're not working in business, there's other means of trying to get the money. Uh, we could use that money for make the um, streets and sidewalks more ADA compliant. Um, that, that, I mean, I would love to know, like, I don't even know how much it costs to do a curb cutout. Like, I, I would really like to know that, like, if I could have a point of uh, clarification on that. But I'm thinking that 271000 would help cover that. And I think it's just bad form to say, oh, you don't feel like paying your bills. You know, you're not working for a while. It's okay. You know, poof, they're gone. I don't think that sends a good message, um, especially since we have so much that needs to be done that, you know, that money, it's not even just the ADA. What about the unhoused um, shelter? You know, I mean, well, I guess we don't have to be spending $17,000 a month uh, per person. I guess we could get some money from that, but thank you. Okay, so I have eight. So I have two minutes left outside of, but you did not count public comment because that's separate, yes. huh? That's correct. So I have okay. Two minutes left. Thank you. And if uh, Vice President would like, we will move now to the virtual uh, commenters. Yes, please. Starting with Henri Henry. Oh, I share that. You have two minutes, followed by. Wait, I have to go up closer. Oh, you have to go up closer yeah, so I can hear. Excuse me, 1,400 invoices, but a lot of them have over 12 months 
of unpaid invoices. So for a total of 271000 that's over a quarter of a million of the budget that can't be compensated. So is this a chance, I'm asking you as a board, is this a chance to possibly assess that to your policy so the invoices aren't backed up for such a long time frame? Um, a statute of policy could be having um, taxes, property taxes paid by the Church of Scientology since they are an unpaid tax organization right now. Thank you, and I yield back the time. Thank you, Mona. And that concludes commentary on that number four. Great job, Mona. Thank you. Like the tax, business tax liens, uh, for some reason that, that uh, you know, kind 
but my cash app is um dollar sign hold it LA and thank you for asking that's very sweet but I never ask for any of that yeah that's fine thank you Michelle I appreciate that I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and I'm not asking. It's because somebody else asked. I'm not asking. I don't ask. I'm going to skip this one, guys. Six is I'm, I'm going to skip um, till six, please. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. We do have Henri Marie on the virtual platform, and we also have two new hands raised. If you'd like, I can ask if they would like to offer commentary. Oh, yeah, if you guys can give, if other people can give on Henri Marie. Commentary, that'd be great. Yes, sir. I will uh, skip on this item. Very well. Uh, I will go to Defender Events. Would you like to offer commentary on item number five? Yes, I would. Go ahead, Joe. Great deal, right?
Thank you. I think I can get it. I don't mind. But again, I need to make a point of clarification that I do not know what his update is, so I can only guess. So I will be uh, giving what I would like to hear from street services, but that is on topic, ma'am. Okay. Um, when it comes to upcoming street improvements, L. Ron Hubbard was given a permit A for a street improvement, which is great. I mean, it's a beautiful street. Have you ever been there? It's, it's, brick, it's a brick street, tree line. Lovely street. As a community, we love it. But um, they are using their Sea Orc people who get paid $47 a week um, to do, to work on it. And with street services being the one issuing the permit, I please report that you are looking into the wages. Please report, because I know when you're working on, um, I know they can get away with that wage for being like a, you know, a ministry thing, but when you are working on public streets, you have to give the right, correct wages. Um, like Scientology has been forced now with their, th um, with their production company to pay their workers the fair union wages. I am asking for street services to make sure in your report that you are making sure that they are paid the fair wages. If they're not touching a street or sidewalk, it's not public works, then you know that's on the Church of Scientology. But once it's touched, once they're touching a street, and they are, there's plenty of video evidence of it, you need to be involved and make sure they are getting their wages. I also a street I would like to um, on Franklin Avenue in front of La Poubelle. Um, that's the restaurant where the lady, um, the owner um, had an anti slap suit to hundred thousand dollars. Um, you know, for violating people's rights. Well, there's a big pole in the street, and um, one of the speakers today tried to remove it, but the owner put it back again um, into the street, and it's a, a hazard for the public. Franklin and Bronson, if you could please um, fix that. Thank you. Um, I'm a little stuck in it. Uh, thank you. I think I got stuck in it. Right Focus permits for a illegal street closure, and furthermore, that you do now are multiple, just like you have this entire time of turning a blind eye to the collusion between the SS and council of divisions like LADWP, uh, like the city attorney Heidi Soto of issuing criminal charges to protesters to suppress uh, First Amendment rights. And furthermore, that the work being done on the uh, public street by psychologists absolutely without a shadow of a doubt constitutes that slave labor, and that some of those people are children doing that slave labor. And you are culpable now of uh, being complicit in allowing child slave labor to go forward. People talk about trafficking and slavery as if it doesn't occur right here in our own backyard, but it does. It does. It's right here. And it's very clear that you don't give a crap about protecting children, and you don't give a crap about uh, eradicating slavery. It's happening right here. Right here. Slavery, child molestation, and all being done at the hands of Scientology. These construction companies that are affiliated with Scientologists, this is no longer about construction or public works. This is about child laws. This is about child slave labor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have a number of other hands raised on this item. Uh, if you like questions. Uh, using a lot of lot of views. Uh, it's a great way if a car goes fly into it. They deserve to have a big log go into the car. Maybe and not only that, but they didn't fully design the penis design. It is a very odd thing that an owner of a store, a restaurant, Buck Bell, did. But what's better? You go to the market, they got little breaks. And it's great that they use breaks because little children.
children were able to use those bricks to put them on the ground. And what is even better, those bricks are easily, easy to just remove without a permit or any permission from anybody. Because then they were able to, so now the bricks are off color. There's about two feet where they put that bone in there, and now the bricks are off color. So can the bully, uh, the big street unit really work on that? And they cut a, a, a stretch about two feet all the way across the intersection of Fountain and my own way. That's great, but it, 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 it's so nasty. So let's redo that whole intersection so people don't know that there's a tunnel running under the half of the street to hide all the people that are moving across the street because we don't want them knowing that they're only making 50 bucks a week. Those kids, for 50 bucks, it's, it's a good deal. It's a religion, right? Absolutely made perfect at the set, right? You can sleep so good. I heal my time. Great job, DOA. Thank you, Defender of Events. Next, we have Crazy Love is Love. Would you like to offer commentary to other sentence? <laughs> uh, yes, I would. Sure. Um, sure. So, I can just imagine what the report is, but I would like to uh, let you guys know the responsibility and the liability to them. The one significant issue um, we need to consider is liability for the city if a vehicle or pedestrian is colliding with that pole that's been in, on the side of the road. Several firms could be potentially bear responsibility. The local government as an entity responsible for street infra infrastructure, cleaning up our streets, the local government may be liable if determined that that pole presents a safety hazard and is not adequately addressed, which it has not been. It's been there for three months. Uh, property owners, if the pole is on or near private property, the property owners could have some liability if someone was injured, hurt, and or killed. Um, and the insurance companies, in an event of the incident, if it's the uh, city's insurance, if it's the uh, um, street, like who, who's is it? It's crucial for us to, to you know, accept the safety concerns within our community. Um, our street requires significant upgrades that, to enhance safety, the accessibility, uh, the, the four signage near and around that pole and Elmron Harvard Way, and the limited pedestrian pathways that enter the community with these uh, plants, the boxes that look ugly as shit. Um, one pressing concern as, you know, a community member is uh, you guys, you guys obviously don't care or want to care that um, the the inability of you know Scientology and L. Ron Howard Way in that poll and that's so nice. Nice. great job, Gracie Love. Next we have Chu 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 Chu. Would you like to offer commentary on that sense?
Are you? Do you work with under or like? Are you equal to um, Keith Mosey or is he under? Is there any way you can help get these per this continuous permit to L. Ron Hubbard to stop? Like who do I speak to or who do I complain about to that? And who do I report him to? He's your boss. Okay, so how do I? But how do I report him? Yeah, that's anyway. Can, can you get word to him that we're 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 after his job if he doesn't stop? You can tell him, tell him, yeah, tell him, tell him, tell him after him. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 
don't inquire about it at all. Please, like you inquire about all the other speakers. All those nice questions you ask them. Don't ask anybody about those problems. Please, for the love of God, we need all those planters there. There's no plants to plant, there's no planters there. They're amazing looking. Haven't you seen them? Come on. It's like that's no food for us ever. I mean, they're doing an amazing job over there. Let's see this. Keep it up. Thank you. Great job, DOI.